What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I'm in my 4Runner. Um, I'm actually headed over to San Jose to the DIY or Die Grand Opening. Um, it is basically a shop for automotive enthusiasts who don't have the tools needed at their own house or their garage to do like uh, either simple or crazy repairs. This shop offers basically everything you could ever need, a lift, um, every sort of air tool, uh, tire um, tire tool, what, what you call it, so I don't even know, tire equipment for like mounting and balancing tires and all that. Um, I believe they're gonna have a hunter alignment rack and they're gonna basically have everything you'll ever need to dial in your uh, weekend car or even your daily, whatever it may be. Um, but they are asking for a membership, but I will try and find out some more information for you guys because I think that this is probably one of the best ideas out there um, for people to learn how to work on their own car as well as getting like the proper guidance. Um, so what I... Look at all the traffic. Can you even see that? Man. It feels like we're on the sun, what the heck? Can't see anything. Okay. How do I do this? Can we see again? Oh, there we go. Rolling in. One Audi. Well, I just made it here to the shop, and we have, everybody's rolling in now. That truck sounds really good, what the heck? So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a walk around of the entire shop, try to meet with James and get his, um, basically, idea of what uh, the entire shop's about, how much it costs to rent, and have those monthly fees or yearly fees, whatever it is. Well, let's go ahead and meet with some owners and check out their cars. It's all about that 50 ISO. Just kidding, I don't have that. Look who showed up. Oh. Mr. Foo. Life on air. Definitely gonna hit my legs on those later. How you doing? Yeah. What's up? How you doing? Oh, aired out. Alright guys, so this is Mike, 
What's up? What kind of car do you have? I have an Audi S4, V8 and a half. I'm guessing this is yours? Yes. Okay, so what color is this? It's the Seapang Blue. Okay. It's the best blue Audi's ever made. Oh, hell yeah. Fire. And so what are your wheel, what's your wheel set up? Uh, I have 20 by 9 uh, TSW Bath Hertz. Bath Hertz. Bath Hertz. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, I like them. Uh, they're like plus uh, plus 35 offset. Okay. Um, and yeah. What, yeah. Kind of, what size tires? They're 255, 30, 20. Okay. Dang. And you don't rub? Uh, I rub very, very slightly in the rear just on the fender line. So I just okay. gotta trim that and then I'll be good to go. Not bad. Let's get a closer look at this. And then what do we have for engine mods? Uh, exhaust. Stock. What? Stock, stock engine. It's stock? Yeah. No tune? I'm waiting for the, the warranty to go up. Okay. And then what kind of exhaust is it? It's an AWE uh, Touring. Uh, and it has the, the, big, the big tips. Big tips, big boys. And then uh, it has the, the non-resonated downpipes. Awesome. And then, uh, what kind of carbon lip is this? I like this. It's the, the it's Carbon Imports Low Kick. I had the ECS High Kick before. Okay. And I like that, but it was just a little bit too much for me. And this is, I, I think, like perfect. Yeah, I agree. Size. This looks great. So, anything else you can share with us about the car? Some things that we obviously don't see? Um, it's just fun, man. It's just a really fun car. Oh yeah. Um, I had an RS4 before and I loved it. Okay. Um, but this is just, you know, it has all the, the really nice convenience stuff right. of like having a newer car yeah. on the inside and it just, you know, feels, drives well. Definitely. Yeah, the B8s are a really good car. Great looking at it. Can't wait to see what else you're going to do with it. Got some, got some plans. Great. Some and then, do you have an Instagram so everyone here can go ahead and check it out? Yeah, it's uh, at Wash Your Hands with two R's. Okay. Great. And then I'll try and put that somewhere like right here, if I know how. I don't know how, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. They set up a drift course. Up oh, accident. types of memberships. I mean, hourly user, oil changer, service, DIY, weekend warrior, grease monkey, that's probably me right there. But here is the contract for a DIY or die. Check them out on Google, give them a call. This is a great service. Check it out. Van culture. Has better fitment than like every car here. It's ridiculous. All right, so I asked uh, my friend Mr. Fu on Instagram. Uh, he has the bagged B8.5 and that nice dark blue with the gold wheels. He's gonna give us a poll as soon as he's leaving here. Uh, let's see. Here he comes. His car is way faster than mine. Uh, he's also dual pulley, but I think he's got an APR tune. So, different companies, same mods, kind of. But that was really impressive. Right, so all these blue lifts right here, we got one, two, three, four, six. <laughs> 
six lifts ready to be rented out. Basically, what I know so far is it's a membership deal. You can pay by the hour, I believe it's $40 an hour to have an entire lift for you to work on your car. There are toolboxes at each station with TVs, fans, everything you'll need to basically finish the job. So some of the specialty things I think I mentioned before, full tire equipment, mounting, balancing, um, plenty of giant jugs to do oil changes, fluid changes, tranny, differential, whatever you need. We got a hydro blaster, spring compressor right there in the wall. Looks like a drill press here. Plenty of equipment. Another spring compressor. Engine hoist. I need one of these pretty bad. Plenty of other welding stuff here. We've got a sand blaster, can do calipers, welding bench, pretty sweet Corrado. And I believe like right here, they're gonna do a nice hunter alignment rack. So that'll be really awesome. Be able to dial in your car for those track days. All right guys, so I am meeting with Brian. How's it going? Um, he is one of the shop foremen and the face of this company, DIY or Die. Uh, he's going to answer a few questions for us, try to get as much information for you guys as possible, so that way you guys can come out here, get a membership of your own, and have a place to work on your car. So what is basically like the motivation for this shop? Well, we're trying to fill the gap between uh, full service automotive and the do-it-yourselfers that don't have a spot to do it. A lot of people are living in apartments and townhomes and stuff that, you know, the HOAs don't allow you to work on cars. You come here at a really good rate, get a lift, Get toolboxes, benches, everything. Right. We'll have uh, you know information up on the screens before too long. Okay. And uh, stuff like that. And, you know, we fill that void of you know being required to have somebody else do it for you. Exactly. Yeah. This is a really great idea. It's always awesome to have someone you know teaching you along the way, as well as having the tools necessary. Um, so, what kind of uh, membership packages would people expect to see? So we have uh, five membership packages, going from the basic hourly user to the grease monkey which is uh, 500 bucks a month, but includes 16 hours of lift time, and Ooh. you don't have to pay for your uh, introductory classes or anything. Okay. So, I mean, you, you do save a lot of money if you're gonna utilize that, but, you know. Definitely. It was like I was in my early 20s, I, I used that time. Definitely, I mean. I rich every time I can, you know, every chance <laughs> I get, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a good deal if uh, that's what you do. Okay, awesome, and so what kind of tools are like, I mean, obviously we see a tool chest here, so yep. what exactly is in here? Will we, we will got, someone have everything needed? We got your basic hand tools, uh, your files, um, hammers, your SAE and metric wrenches, stuff okay. like that. We can actually open it up here. and Locked for safety, as you can see. Locked for safety, yeah. We, uh, we make sure they're locked up, and uh, so the tools are always there when you need them. Okay. But it's uh, Sonic, it's a Norwegian company, I believe. Um, they're trying to break out in America. Their stuff is uh, pretty nice. I haven't used it too much, but the quality seems good. You know, we got uh, all your SAE wrenches open in and your line wrenches. And then uh, I think these are the metrics. Nice, nice sets, man. I wish my box was this organized. Yeah, this is like really nice. Yeah. This, and like, you get it all. Um, I mean, this is awesome. Six to thirty-two millimeter. Wow. I, I don't even have that. I don't even box. think I've ever seen anything higher than like a twenty-three. To be yeah. honest, I, I think mine only goes to nineteen. You know, I got some random stuff. I mean, just it's beautiful. Wow. Every Torx bit. These are so helpful with our stupid yeah. Audis. These are so awesome. My, my Torx okay. bit. My personal set was six hundred dollars. So. Wow. So what would be the value of like this toolbox to say someone doesn't have any tools at home, they come here, they have access to this, so. Yeah, it's uh, included with the lift rental. So, okay. um, yeah, it's about a $6,000 box, I believe, for the, the setup that it is. That's awesome. Yep. Okay. Here, let's swing. So talk with Brian a little bit, he mentioned that they have some future plans. So what does that include? Well, we got a Hunter uh, alignment rack, state of the art. It's uh, gonna be in ground, it's our, that's in the corner right now, but our uh, alignment lift will go in here. Okay. So we do, uh, it'll be just another four post lift for the average guy, but we're capable of doing uh, four wheel alignments. Excellent. Yeah. So you can get, you know, dialed in for track, drag, whatever you guys want to do. That's awesome. And he also mentioned that maybe if they get 
enough you know attention and support that they might start doing some dyno stuff which would be incredible to see not many places allow you to come out and just dyno your car for fun also learn how tuning works that might be some for an, as an option in the future who knows all right so that is all the questions i have for brian thank you very much um he will be here how often are you here? I'll be here. I'll, every day. I'll be here. Probably every day. Yeah. He's one of the shop foremen here, so if you're working on your car, he's going to be the guy to ask questions. Um, he is really good with welding, fabricating, yep. and obviously he's a, probably a full mechanic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anything that you guys need, he'll be here to help you. And you're also welcome to come stop by the shop anytime. It's DIY or die. Look him up on Google. Yep. Um, there's an Instagram page. I will link that in the description below also. So thanks again, Brian. Really yeah, appreciate no it. Don't hit me. <laughs> He's like, get out of the way. Oh, he knew I was standing there on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Aired out hard. Send it. Dang. That was sick. Like. All right, so I found another owner for me to check out his car. Uh, this is Jurgen. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, guys? Jurgen from South Bay, R5 owner. Tune, Velocity P2, Burble Tune. Okay. With a ECS Tuning X pipe. You know, so it sounds fire. Some gunshot. It does. I want, we want to hear it. So we'll get an exhaust video here in a second. Um, then you just mentioned you got an intake, right? Yeah. Arma Speed full carbon fiber intake. Thanks okay. for my sponsors. Check them out, armaspeed.com. Yeah. They do some really good work. Really nice carbon fiber intakes. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get an exhaust clip because this is one of the best sounding RS5s I've ever seen. One really cool thing about the shop being right here is next door is Strike Brewing. So you can work on your car and when you're done, get some beer right next door. Wow, I'm really freaking white. Woo. Well, that concludes the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed me giving you a walk around of the shop talking with some of the people who work there, as well as some of the car enthusiasts that um, are gonna plan on bringing their cars there to work on and use their tools. Um, I am really supportive of this idea because I wish I had a place like this when I was learning how to work on my cars, as well as I still need a place. Um, so this is a really good opportunity for everyone out there who is looking for somewhere to work on their cars with all the tools, as well as having someone to guide you along the way. Go ahead and check them out, DIY or die. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.